Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Underrail Expedition. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today. Did I talk to the Faceless? No, I did not. That's kind of curious, because they just look at me. They watch, they watch me. So, we are, um, gonna go into the building. This build, this building here, I don't remember having enemies, but obviously I'm wrong, because, uh, there's spider webs over here, and that means there are spiders. Uh, and, uh, this building has a puzzle for us. I'm not sure what the puzzle is gonna be. I do remember it not being as brutal as the music puzzle, uh, that we had in the expansion. And there's enemies here. There's an ancient rat hound. Nothing major. Possibly more. Oh, yeah, there's two ancient rat hounds. Oh, right, I forgot. It's immune to... to, uh, being electrocuted. Not immune to being put on fire, but also it's immune to... To uh, the other thing, the um, fear. Okay. Mm, that's unfortunate. Let's not be there because that thing is not ranged. Uh, they do howl something, if I remember correctly. Don't know. Let's see what I can do here. Nice. Lots of death. As as, as it should be. Uh, and uh, some ancient rat hound things. We are... Uh, no, we're not carrying the uh, uh, ancient rat hound leather that we had all before. Because I dropped it back. Uh, are we carrying it? Yeah, we, are, we actually are. Yes. Uh, I haven't dropped it yet, but we will drop it back where I left all my other uh, crafting components. As well as some quest stuff that uh, we're likely going to need. Okay, so the... Sai is back to maximum. It's just the reserves that are down. Um, yeah, it's totally fine. We're probably going to need it here. I do recall the... Well, actually, I don't know if we're going to need it here in this area or later on. I don't... I don't... I really don't remember what the puzzle here is for. We got two out of four entertainment leaflets. Uh, we're on our way to the maximum level, right? Yes, we're level 29, which means the next level up is the last level up. So I very much look forward to not only finding all the oddities, obviously, because it's nice to have all the oddities, but also, more importantly, getting to maximum level, because, yeah, we need that. Advanced electronic repair kits, ma or a single one, a master key card for the Keras residential block. That's right, that's where we are, in the residential block. And nothing important elsewhere. We have a syringe over here. Now yeah, let's just keep it there. I don't. I think I'm going to be fine. We're probably not going to need to craft... Um, to craft anything in, in regards to drugs or stuff like that. I swear I still hear dogs, but it might be in real life. It is in real life. So there's some stalls over here. Oh, there's another one over here. How do I get back there? Oh, this, this door. And this, these are stalls as well, but they don't have doors. How come? That's weird. Elevator. You try calling the elevator, but the, the, the elevator doesn't hear you. That's, that's basically oh, what, what what happens. To be fair, calling the elevator is, is a, I think, the actual way you say it. It's sort of a weird way of saying it. And uh, we have a greater qual spider coming in. <laughs> okay. Why didn't, why couldn't I do that? Before, I mean... Oh, because mm, that's why. <laughs> Cause the game, uh, that's a problem. That is a problem. That's another problem. Okay. Freeze the spider. How long? Two turns. One turn. That's good enough. Let's burn the spider. I think we're gonna be fine. Yes, we are. Just barely, but we are. Ooh, I really don't want them attacking me. Mostly because they they lower up the they remove all of my energy shields and whatnot. And it's really a pain in the ass. So some crafting components over here that don't matter. A ventilation shaft inside the walls that can be accessed through this grill. Or whatever that is. And toilets. Sounds good. Here we have eggs. That's potentially a bad thing. 
I think it might be the spiders or whatever these things are. I'm not sure. Let's just explore everything. Yeah. Open that. What about here? This connects the whole level, most likely. Okay, let's go down this one. I'm sure it's not... Yeah, it doesn't have any enemies or anything. It's all totally fine. What about this one? Just friends. Yeah, it's fine. No death. No nothing. So we have two... Yes. Two entrances or exits, rather. A couple of exhalers, a plasma cell, or two plasma cells, temporal manipulation helmets, a really high quality temporal manipulation component thingy. That's pretty good. And a thought control that is decent quality as well. I don't need that. Uh, we have a computer for Mr. J. Dyson. And we have INM. Warning, INM is currently offline. Please check your connection to the INH... Uh, N Inye, Inye network and restart your client. If the problem persists, contact uh, contact one of the network administrators. Number of contacts, 89. Archive, let's look. So we got Stigger, Velisica, Sla Slavkovic, and all these names we read already before when we were messing with computers because these are the the people who are living down here. Uh, and th these are, there's a lot of communications here. It's not as much, if I remember correctly, it's not as much as the expansion has with all those enormous, enormous texts. Um, but this is, I think, part of the puzzle. I'm not sure. Let's find out. Stigger, do you have a minute, Dr. Dyson? Or Stigger writes to Dr. Dyson. Do we have a minute? I want to talk to you about Project EOS. Sure, Tobias. Or Tobias, potentially. And stop calling me Dr. Dyson. We've known each other for five years, man. There's no need to be formal. I know, sir. I'm sorry. What did you, did you need? I'll just be direct. I want to volunteer to be placed inside a suspension cell and undergo the whole process. I understand what you mean, says Dyson. I noticed that your recent interest with the project had a very personal note, one that wasn't present before. However, I don't need to tell you that this is the first time we are doing this. Many things can go wrong. Did you consult anyone else before making this decision? And Stigger says, I spoke to Dr. Anderson today, and he told me there's nothing they can do for me. Removing the tumor from my face is not the problem, but other effects of the mutation will soon manifest. I, I'm sorry to hear that, says Dyson. We, are wor we have worked on this together for some time now, so I'm sure you know what awaits you. But I have a question. Why didn't you turn to cryogenics instead? And Stigger says, I trust you more. You know how things currently are around here, and I don't want to be unplugged so that they could, they can make room for some someone like Dr. Slavkovic. I mean, if I have to die, then that's that. I'll accept my fate. But I, but if I'm going to give this a chance, then I'll put myself in the hands of someone I can trust. And Dyson says, "Thank you, Tobias or Tobias, whatever. We can. We have still a few more cells available. I can arrange everything. We'll talk about it. This. Uh, we'll talk about this in TL. Um, yeah, and that's it. And then we have Vasilika. Vasilika. Hey, will you be going to? the party later. Yes, I have to finish the report on these Psy monoliths first, so I might be a bit late. Right, I heard you guys had some problems with a few subjects. No, who told you that? Bobby, He, bo but he's a jerk anyway. Yeah, we had no problems. You've been acting pretty stiff lately. Did Anton stop by TL again? No. Yes? Look, I'm working here. We'll talk at the party. Yeah. One more thing. I've got a faux paper ready for my boys at the biochem lab. It's gonna mess with their heads more than you guys do in TL. I told you I'm busy and we don't mess with heads. Yeah, yeah. What's the name of the paper? Application of bioengine... Oh, though it's not capitalized, though. Is that normal scientific thing? Either way. Application of bioengineered fungal cell cultures in the creation of self-replicating lavatory tissue paper by Gunter Vasilica. Haha, <laughs> a toilet paper that grows on its own. Underwheel will never be the same. Do you guys ever need, uh, ever do anything serious, or is it always these sorts of things? No wonder Kim is on your back all the time. What was the last one? Fart cleanser? Flatulence processing and perfuming units, to be exact, but yes, I never submitted that, so you know. It's not my field, and even if it was, it would have been too obvious. Come on. But this one is going across everybody's INM. Everybody in the department, that is. Uh, look, I have to finish this. Can't wait to hear what you've come up with. Okay, okay, see you later. Sla Slavkovic over here. Come to my room. May I ask why, sir? Come and we'll talk in person. I will be there as soon as possible. You have five minutes, Dyson. Yes, sir. 
uh, Parkinson over here. I read it this morning. I think you should come over to TL later and we'll see what we can do. We've still got a fair number of monolith fragments, so it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, and apparently this is a... Oh, this was Dyson talking. And then Parkinson over here says, Deal, I will come over tomorrow. I'm going to see Bianca first and then I'll be over... I'll be over to you. Hmm. I wasn't the bad. We are going. We're doing joint research. Didn't she tell you? Her fungal forest project is at an advanced stage, and we would like to release a few type bees into an enclosure study, or an enclosure study their behavior and see if what adapt what, yeah, which and see what which adaptations they develop. Oh, that good. As, as long as it's just that. Parkinson says, "Be serious, John. I will see you tomorrow." Uh, sure. They're fucking obviously. Uh, Vasilika says, Hey, dude, last night was damn good. If your eyes weren't glued to Bianca the whole time, you might have had a, a bit more fun. And Dyson told, Who told you that? I was st uh, standing right next to you. Oh, no, Dyson. Dyson has a question. Who was it? Bianca, that's the one. And so the, the, the other dude going to the bathroom uh, made him all be like, Oh, are you fucking her right now? Is that, is that how it goes? Uh. And then, No, I was going to the bathroom. And that's why the be serious makes sense. Right, right. Okay, so who told you that, says Dyson. And Vasilika says, I was standing right next to you. And Dyson says, sadly. And Vasilika goes, what do you mean sadly? With the actual quotation marks. Um, you know, because this is instant messaging. And it's sure. Uh, one, it's funny because the writing is actually better. And the punctuation and all that. It's better here than it is in the expansion, honestly. And uh, it's good. It's, it's good that it's better. I mean, it's good that it's good. But I wish the expansion had a little bit more punctuation pro uh, done properly and whatnot. Anyway. Want me to come over and kick your drunken ass? And Dyson says, no. Imagine the SAI guys spying on our chat, take it a bit too seriously, and think you really want to kick my ass. Soon, an armed AF squad, not armed as fuck, but uh, I think that's armed forces. Armed armed forces? Could be. Um, squad might come busting through your, fo your door. What do you think of that, drunken ass? And Vasilka says, I could kick it all the way to the core. And with a capital C. Hmm. And Dyson says, that's not what I asked you. And Vasilika says, do you want me to kick your ass? And Dyson says, haha, I thought I would never meet anyone who's a bigger idiot than me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Vasilika says, while we're at it, you've gotten pretty serious lately. I already asked you, but you evaded the answer. Those crystals got to your head or what? And Dyson says, they are not crystals, man. And no, they didn't. Just a bit of everything. Apex Technocrats news from above EOS. Bianca, says Vasilica, and uh, without a space after the period of the G? Either way, Dyson says, you understand me, I hope you die. Hmm. And Vasilica says, I'm going to outlive my best friend so that he never feels lonely. And then Helting over here. Hey, John. Hey, Bianca. Oh, Helting is Bianca. There we go. Just wanted to let you know that Wasi has been acting up lately. I heard him talking to himself the other day. Other g back t education your biologists are even worse than geologists, says Dyson. With a bold text, whatever that means. And Helting says, John, do we have to go through this every time I make typo? What? Other... What the heck is this? Hmm, I'm not sure I fully understand. I think he's trying to correct her. Right, he is. Uh, other, he's correcting her, right. And he says, yes, if you feel the need to file a complaint against my excruciatingly annoying behavior to SC, NRS, or even BCHC, you should have an Oxford comb over there, you may do so every day from 7 to 5. That should be a comb over there as well. Uh, and Helting says, look, can you be serious for once? Speak to Wasi and see why he's behaving the way he does. And uh, Dyson says he was at the med. Probably it shouldn't be should, the. Uh, and they told him it's it's the wrong. It's just work related. It shouldn't have an iPhone exhaustion. We're working on Project EOS and, well, a lot of lives are in our hands. And Helting says, just talk to him, I'm worried. We've been having numerous accidents and mishaps around Hollow Earth, especially with the recent pro problems in the mutagen tank area. What if it's connected? 
Also, you know, I will file a complaint to Anton directly. You're going to Tartarus. Dyson says, no, for a simple correction, you evil woman. I'm not sure what's going on. Tartarus possibly is prison, and she's a above him. Because... Oh, right, I think the complaint here... Right, I think she's going to file a complaint to Anton about him for being a jerk and also not knowing how to write because, uh, you know, he... Yeah. Um, and um, and she's going to send him to Tartarus because she's going to complain to Anton. That's how it goes. Okay. Look, I got to go and take some spore samples from the forest. And Dyson says, can I ask you something? What, sorry, wrote the... Um, can I ask you Yeah, there's just some weird text there. Them having a bit of a miscommunication on their I am channel. And we got F Manu over here. Manu says, are you there? Yes. Something is seriously wrong with Wasi. He's been send, sending me messages these two days and complaining about having insomnia and seeing some freaky shadows. The things he woke up with are frightening, John. What is going on at Tythonus? Hmm. Dyson says, he's been too mad, this time without the the, so... One of these is wrong. Uh, he's been to... And this, I think this is the correct one. He's been to med and told me they told him it's work-related stress. Professional exhaustion, however they call it. Or, yeah, whatever they call it. Uh, he's taken a few days off. What do you mean? To medical in L1. Doctor told him it's stress. Did, didn't you mention that? When did he go to med? Asks Manu. And Dyson says, I don't know, yesterday? The day before that? And Manu says, I don't think he did. I talked to Bianca, Marcus, and even Dr. Hope. And no one saw him leave his room during that time. And judging by INM timestamps, I don't think he would have had much time to go out in between. Did you talk to anyone from Med? And Dyson says, no, he messaged me what uh, why I've told you. Let's go to his room. I'll meet you in the hallway, Dyson says. And that's the last message. Who is Wasi? There hasn't... I think, I think it's important, like, the puzzle here... Whatever is going to happen, or trying to figure out whatever is going to happen here, it's important. Uh, the, the trick is knowing their first and late in, in the second names. Tythonius is just a location, or Tythonus. Did I miss? Did I say Tythonius before? Either way, um, yeah. So Bianca is helting, and Marcus. Who's Marcus? Was Marcus the one? Is it the second page? Yeah. I talked to Bianca, Marcus, and even Dr. Hope. So Marcus hasn't been in this message, but yeah, we're just going to have to keep track of these characters. We don't really need to worry too much about like the minute details. I'm pretty sure we can, um, uh, we can come back at any time and just read up. Uh, and obviously there's there's the wiki page that can help me out, but uh, if I am stuck in a quest or anything like that. But the fun part is trying to figure out what went on in the last days of these people's lives. Uh, it's clearly something is wrong, so the game is setting it up. The fact that there's a sort of non-linear uh, approach to the computers, though, does make it kind of difficult for us to know that that was the first computer we were supposed to open. I don't think there is such a thing as the first computer we were supposed to open. This is Manu's room, by the way. Um, there's a sledgehammer locked inside of a locker, but I think that it's not storytelling. It's just coincidence. Uh, welcome, F. Manu. Access I and M. Archive. Bianca. I'm back. Where were we? Asks Manu, and, and Bianca says, We were discussing the westernmost cavern rock composition. Right, I have the samples here. The forest has really grown more than I expected. Those mushrooms are towering. Thank you. They've been growing like crazy. On a slightly related note, I heard Vasilika wrote a paper on self-growing bathroom tissues made out of fungi. So if you see him chopping down one of the mushrooms, don't act surprised. Haha, <laughs> a guy from his lab forwarded it to me. They were rolling on the floor when he sent it to them because they're three years old. The worst thing is... They're worse than three years old, yeah. The worst thing is I am an expert in mycology and I can say I see some good logic in what he wrote there. Joke or not, he thought it, he thought it through, through. Indeed. Things would be boring around here if it weren't for dude and him. Yes, says Manu. 
I don't know who dude is, but it's probably somebody's name. Uh, well, as far as that cavern is concerned, you've got uh, nothing to worry about. I surveyed the whole cavern and took soil and rock samples as we discussed. I doubt that the composition is very is any different, but I'll test it just to make sure. We aren't pushing anywhere near the magma. That's the most important thing. So freely, so move in and expand the forest at your will. Putting the uh, modal adverb before sentence irks me a lot. Uh, and uh, Bianca says, excellent, so when do you want me to come over and look at the samples? And Manu says, later today, I've got something else to do first. And Bianca says, okay, I'll go see you there, okay. And then there's another message from her, I'm coming over to take a look at those samples. And he says, sure. And then we have W period Abdul without a space. Uh, could be Wasi for the W. There's a lot of are you there period uh, question marks. Um, there's a lot of this dialogue. Yeah, this is probably Ab uh, Wasi. Uh, Manu, you there? I'm sleeping. What's the matter? Is everything okay? I see him, says Wasi. Who? The shadow. I was lying in bed trying to get some sleep. I, it's It's been 30 hours since I last slept. I mean, I heard someone knock. I opened my eyes and went to the door, and I opened, and there it was. Manu says, are you sure it, you weren't hallucinating? Or maybe you, you did get some sleep and had a nightmare? And uh, look at your writing. Because of the, yeah, um, this was re nobody is, is it? Is Manu the one who corrects things? No, that's that guy over there. Everybody's obsessed with writing. Sure, I've never known a single time in the internet where most people are obsessed with typos. I mean, sure, there's always people who are obsessed with typos, but like this is weird. Either way, uh, that doesn't happen anymore in our real world, but we're, this is anachronistic. It's supposed to be... It's, it's a, it's a science, science fiction. It, they don't have autocorrect. It doesn't happen anymore in the real world because we use predictive text. So what happens is not typos, it's just words that are wrong and people correct themselves. Either way. Um, also, does that happen still a lot? It used to be a more, more of a pressing problem when autocorrect was uh, still in its infancy. Uh, people don't joke about that much these days. It used to be like all the rage making jokes about autocorrect mistakes, but not anymore, in, at least in 2020. Maybe when I started my YouTube channel, maybe when I played this game for the first time, when this game came out <laughs> uh, in 2015, maybe maybe it was. Maybe it was the, the all the rage back then, making jokes about autocorrect that went wrong. Like all the ducks, you know, that ducking guy or something, you know what I mean. Anyway, uh, this was real. Manu, please listen, you you never talk me, take me seriously. Amanda says, I'm listening, but if you're hallucinating, go to med. I mean it. And Abdul uh, Wabi says, The shadow looked like me. It had red eyes, but it was me. It pulled my chick cheeks with both hands like it wanted to tear them apart. And then it told me I'm trapped in my body. What does that mean, Manu? Then it walked through and entered the room. It's touching my back now, and it hurts. You're hallucinating, says Manu. Go to med and talk to a doctor. It's still here, Manu, says, uh, says Wabi. It's touching me as it's as I'm sitting in front of the laptop. And Manu says, uh, I, I know you're freaking out, but you are hallucinating and you should see a doctor. Want me to come over and take you to med? And Manu says, is everything all right? Oh, yeah. They, uh, Wabi stopped responding for a little bit and then says, I'll go, to, uh, I'll go to and try to get some sleep. You do that. Talk to you tomorrow. Okay, that was the first message from Wabi, and then we have uh, Vladovic over here. Uh, that's not... The, there's another Vlad, I think. Was, no, that's a Slav, not Vlad. Uh, Slav... Slavdovic, potentially. Vladovic over here writes, I'm going to... Uh, this is K. 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 Vladovic. I'm going to Tartarus. The magma level is higher than usual. It's no big deal, but my team is going there just to make sure we're good. And Manu says, sure, we'll do the south exit some other time then. Of course. Good luck. I guess I have some time to take another stroll through the through Bianca's forest. There are some lower tunnels her team discovered just today. I could check them out. Okay, see you later. Sure. Good luck again. And then we have Wabi again here. And it's just, are you there? Can I come over? So. Possibly Wabi died? And, uh, or something happened. Doesn't seem like well, it could be in this level, you know the 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 room. 
There's traps all around here, even though there's no reason to be there. It's a real jerk move to put traps in a dead end. The master key helping us a lot. In fact, I'm pretty sure I could could have opened all these things. Oh, that one that one is trapped. Yeah, you would need to step on that thing. Okay, we got some lockers back here. A uh, couple of locked things. Lockpicks are still an issue, so we're not we're not gonna acquiesce to the needs of the game. We're just gonna save scum if these things don't matter, which they probably won't. But you never know. No, that's the same one twice. And yeah, they don't. But we're out of time for the day, so uh, we're going to continue reading the computers in the next episode. For right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Under Rail Expedition. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.